saw him in the four-wheel drive. He saw who in the four-wheel drive? Curtis. Plain a little mongrel. He saw me too. He looked me square in the eye and just drove off. Well, calm down, love. Ranting and raving isn't going to solve anything. Well, I tell you what, Arthur. If he's done any damage to that flaming car, when I catch him, I'll be doing more than ranting and raving. Believe me. <laughs> Alf, this is going to kill you. So what? At least he won't be giving me a hard time for nothing. Not like he usually does. Just look at his face. It's worth it just for that. Yeah, well, it's his own fault. You know, if he wouldn't treat me like a five year old. He's just too stupid to understand that. Anyway, who wants to talk about him? I mean, the hell with him. You know, I'm not going racing back just because he's seen me. I'm gonna let him sweat it out. I reckon you're being too hard on him. Oh, do you now? Yeah, I know, Curtis. He doesn't do stuff just for no reason. Oh, he's got a reason, all right. He wants to show me he can do whatever he flaming or likes. And don't think I'm letting you two off the hook either. She's no innocent in all this. Come to think of it, it was probably her idea in the first place. Would you like to tell us what you're talking about? Casey, she's in my car with Curtis. My flaming four-wheel drive without my permission. Oh. oh, oh, is that all you can say? Oh. Well, we'll talk to her. You better do more than flame and talk to her. If you can't control that kid, she should be staying with someone who can. I beg your pardon, Alf. Alf, what? this has got nothing to do with Kelly and Travis. It's our problem. We'll handle it. Don't you take any notice of him when the coffee's on the house. I mean, we've got to take some responsibility for it, if she's going to stay here, that is. You're saying you'd like to move out? No, no. I'm just saying, do we really want to have to deal with all the problems that go with sheltering a rebellious teenager? Remember, she's only 15. If she stays on, we've got at least another three years of this. I think you're just having a mild attack of the Alpha Stewards. Take three aspirin, call me in the morning. No, I'm serious. She's been through a lot lately. It takes a while to get over stuff like that and settle down. Yeah. Mr. Stewart? Yeah, I'm Constable Garrett. Oh, what can I do for you, Constable? Are you the owner of a beige Range Rover, JMN 648? Stand the flaming crag. I bet it's been found in some ditch somewhere, has it? Actually, he's been involved in an accident. A serious accident. Well, how serious? I'm afraid the passenger and the driver were both killed. to deal with other people's problems, then maybe you shouldn't. You reckon I should give it away? Uh, only you can answer that, mate. You should have taken it off the hook when you had a chance. Who is it? Hi, Elsa. What? Oh, my God. Obviously not your friend. No, I almost wish it was. There's been an accident. Casey and Curtis. They're dead. You should go home, love. No, no, I'm fine. You should go. I don't want to go home either. Elsa? Where's Alf? He's, um, he's gone to... to confirm. I've been trying to get a hold of Kelly, but her mobile's not answering. The hospital's paging it for me. I said I'd meet her here. Look, you should go home, the both of you. So what's the big emergency? What's up? It's Casey and Curtis. They've been in an accident. Oh, God, I better get back to the hospital. Kelly, there's nothing you can do. Oh, no. They found Al's car. It had run off the side of a road, hit a tree. Al's gone down to identify the bodies. Where's Elsa? Inside. Oh, God. Come on, let me take you home. She says you'll drop Duncan home around five. Oh, what is Al, for God's sake? How long does it take? Would you like a cup of tea? I'll put the kettle on. I'm going to ring the cops. Let's just hope they didn't trash it. Do you have any idea what you put us through this afternoon? Well, do you? Well, how was I supposed to know this was going to happen? Don't answer me back, boy. I've had about enough of your lip. Now it's my turn. The way I feel right now, I've got a damn good mind to tell you to get out there, get your things and get out! Oh, Alf, please. Well, how else do I get through to him, Alf? I know, love, I know, but it's not going to do any good you having another heart attack, is it? Now, where are you going? I'm going for a walk, woman. 
house. You know, I'm really sorry. But it wasn't our fault. I, I mean, I know we shouldn't have taken the four-wheel drive, but it wasn't our fault it got stolen. We made sure it was locked up, but when we got back, it was gone. We were freaking out about what Alf was going to say. I mean, I had no idea, but, you know. Alf had to go to the morgue to identify those bodies. Can you imagine what that must have been like for him, those two young people? I think that's going to stay with him for a very long time. So you'll understand why I'm not in the mood to hear excuses. Look, if you come around here to get stuck into me, don't bother. I've already copped it from Alf and Kelly. Alf nearly burst a blood vessel. No, we don't seem to be too sorry for the trouble you caused. Maybe that's because I didn't cause it. Oh, come on, Casey, please. Look, I didn't take it. I was only a passenger. It's not like it's my fault it got stolen. Well, it's good to hear that you're so completely blameless. I'm not saying I'm not sorry. I'm just saying I'm not going to take the rap for something that I didn't do. Yeah, well, it sounds like a cop-out to me. Well, it's not. Would you just get off my case? I'm sick to death of people trying to tell me what to do, including you. I was worried about you. And so were a lot of other people. Gil, who asked them? Look, you're not my mother, so you can't tell me what to do. So just leave me alone. What? You heard me. How can you call what I did stealing? Well, what would you call it? Borrowing? Well, that's what you tell the police. Yeah, I don't get it. All the insurance company wants to know is that the car's been stolen and been written off. Why do you have to mention my name at all? Because I'm not lying for you. If you hadn't taken the damn thing in the first place, none of this would have happened. But I didn't cause the damage. I think that young bloke and his girlfriend are more than paid for their share in this. It's about time you were man enough to stand up and take the blame for your share.